Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to 7 engineers youtube channel today i'm on this construction site and will guide you for cantilever beam steel reinforcement guys you can see here this is cantilever beam with the distance of five feet okay so this is the junction between uh, beam and column okay so first of all guys i will tell you and this is the end okay of the cantilever beam so this is the uh, free end of this cantilever beam so therefore they should provide here development length okay they should provide the development length but they didn't provide now let me discuss at steel reinforcement guys they used here three steel rods at the bottom which dia is 16 millimeter and three at the top okay so what is the uh, correct design for cantilever beam so they should provide maximum steel rods at the top okay but minimum at the bottom because this is cantilever this is not simply supported beam okay so in simply supported beam they should provide uh, uh, maximum uh, steel rods at the bottom but minimum at the top but this is cantilever so here this is tension okay in cantilever beam this portion is the tension and this is the compression so therefore uh, they should provide maximum numbers at the top but here guys you can see they provided the extra rods uh, on each side so you can see uh, we have uh, two steel rods at the side you can see clearly so this is not important so the place of uh, these steel rods they should provide at the top okay so therefore it will not provide the deflection okay so the deflection is start from the uh, f uh, from this portion so here guys you can see they didn't provide any steel rods here uh, but uh, at the bottom they used three steel rods at the top they have also three steel rods on each side they used extra steel rods but it cannot work here okay so this is just wastage of uh, steel rods you can say wastage of time wastage of money okay so this is cantilever beam so therefore this is not the proper design for cantilever beam so here especially in cantilever beam in the junction we should provide the extra rods because uh, this is the uh, you can say this is uh, the most uh, common place here uh, for uh, the cantilever beam because what's the reason uh, here we should make it strong this junction because here after this we have this cantilever beam you can see guys okay so therefore uh, they should provide uh, from there they should have by uh, from l by four distance they should provide the crank bar or bent up bar or uh, you can say that extra bars should be provided here but unfortunately we don't have the extra bar so this is not better uh, for this cantilever beam so therefore guys i'm guiding you uh, to know about these common mistakes in the construction of uh, cantilever beam or plinth beam or floor beam now guys if you see it's uh, stirrups uh, so the stirrups uh, dia is eight millimeters so it's okay because this is commercial building but hooks are bent with 90 degree it should be provided with 135 degree uh, the depth of this beam is with concrete cover uh, 16 inches uh, so this is uh, uh, without concrete cover it is about uh, uh, 13 or 14 inches okay so here the width is nine inches with concrete cover it will be 12 inches so guys you can see the spacing is also not good uh, that's why because this is cantilever beam so the spacing should be uh, maximum you can use here uh, with three inches but i recommend you especially in this place they should provide with two inches because here it can provide deflection because this is cantilever beam on the top of this they will provide the wall okay so remember these points during construction of cantilever beam hope this video can help you guys you can see clearly thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye